My fondest memories of my Lolo began when I was a little girl. He'd watch us play, he'd take us out for rides in the back of his truck, and one summer he even played Guitar Hero with us. And that same summer there was this huge thunderstorm and he stood outside. And I was so confused because I was scared. There's thunder and the fear of being struck by lightning, but not for my Lolo. It was like any other day to him. And perhaps this is the supposed image of the resilient Filipino. But my Lolo helped everybody unconditionally, which is why there's so many of you here in this church today. And he was someone who especially cared about his family. He moved to Guam to work so that he could put food on his kids' tables and so that they could go to school every single day. And though he was away, he made up for lost time with us. I wish I could have asked him why he sacrificed so much. But the word resilience has changed in meaning. It means getting used to or becoming comfortable with hardship rather than helping those who actually need it. So no, perhaps it was a resilience because my Lolo was someone who actually cared. He stood out in the storm and turned around and looked at me behind the screen door and he told me there was nothing to be afraid of. And so I stand here today hoping to be somebody like him, someone who's strong and selfless and giving and loving and above all, someone who just cares. <laughs>